hello folks welcome to tech and travel soul today we are going to upgrade acer nitro 5 gaming laptop with one terabyte m2 ssd as you can see this is uh, samsung 970 evo plus nvme m.2 ssd one terabyte capacity and we are going to upgrade this and also i'm gonna show you how to install um, um, hard disk drive there are two empty slots in sn i25 which is one for m2 ssd and one for your extra hard disk drive so without any further ado let's just open this sn nitro 5 and upgrade it with one terabyte SSD. Already unscrewed. It's a Nitro 5. Now we need to remove this um, back cover very carefully. So these are the two points where I'm going to use this. Locks will open it up. you go this is the back cover removed and how it looks like this is a pre-installed 500 GB SSD by uh, Western digital came along with this um, SN Nitro and these are two um, 8 GB RAMs so there is total 16 gig RAM in this SN Nitro and um, you can see two fans and that's a good thing in this um, SN Nitro 5 and this is battery now uh, this is the second slot where we are going to install this one terabyte um, ssd so as per itself they recommend before you install um, any new hardware you need to unplug the battery so here is the clip for battery so the battery is unplugged This is the place as you can see um, one terabyte uh, hard disk drive is already installed in my previous video but I'm um, just um, showing you the place um, Acer um, remain very generous in this uh, they gave us space to install um, hard disk drive and they also provide uh, this uh, data transfer cable as well along with this and extra screws uh, to install this hard drive. So in today's video, our main focus is to um, unbox and uh, install this SSD. So let's just open it up. See what comes in the box. This is um, one terabyte. 
Samsung 970 Evo Plus SSD. It has actually um, quite a lot of uh, good reviews on um, Amazon and on Google on different websites. So that's the reason we are going to choose this um, particular model. Okay, so um, in some laptops um, you cannot find um, uh, the screw inside but in Acer they are um, providing us um, um, the screw uh, for SSD as well. So we are going to unscrew this. We need to insert this inside from this side and Okay, so from the other side now we need to tighten this screw to secure this M2 SSD. Okay, I really like the cooling system in this uh, SN Nitro 5. It gives us extra cooling boost while uh, playing games and um, doing heavy stuff, including uh, video editing. Now, after this, the next step is to um, install the battery, plug back. battery connector nice and tight now let's uh, put the cover back and this is the time when you can uh, clean your fans if you want to so for now we are going to put back our cover Now let me show you the upgraded hardware to return on this SN905. So folks, in um, our case, 
the newly installed one terabyte um, Samsung SSD is not showing up when I checked in uh, command prompt it does um, this is my old uh, one terabyte uh, hard disk drive and this 500 GB um, primary SSD and this one the newly installed so in order to troubleshoot we need to open BIOS first while restarting um, we need to press F2 in order to get into BIOS of this laptop HHD01 Samsung 970 EVO Plus so it does show up in BIOS but it's not showing up um, in Windows so let's just uh, find it out so folks as you can see uh, after installing our new Samsung EVO 970 plus we are not able to see it here uh, we um, checked our BIOS and it, it showed up in BIOS uh, so everything was fine there but it's not showing up in Windows so what we are going to do here we are going to um, uh, click on start menu right click start menu and then select disk management so in disk management uh, we will check if it's showing in disk management uh, these are my old SSD and hard drives are showing up and here in the in this list we can see yes this disk 2 is my new SSD Samsung um, one terabyte unallocated so we need to allocate um, the space here new volume next how much uh, space I would like to allocate uh, maximum and what name I want to assign I want to assign um, um, C D E yes three I already have F so after assigning the new drive um, butter F C2 next so here uh, we will stick it to NTFS and um, perform a quick format yes we will keep it up as it is and then uh, press next and then finish so after a quick format I hope um, this is going to uh, show up now and our um, uh, primary drive uh, which is uh, Acer Blue primary and then my hard disk drive these two and this is newly installed Samsung Evo 970 Evo Plus so this looks pretty amazing this 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 is the speed I can see um, the speed of my earlier um, Western Digital Blue Drive and uh, difference in uh, Samsung but it's still empty so let's see after a few days um, how it goes so this is this is the setup of um, new SSD which uh, was a bit tricky because when we installed our hard disk drive um, it's a nitro automatically picked it up without any setting but uh, with the Samsung um, and 970 EVO Plus uh, we have to um, do a little bit work but it's not as uh, difficult we have not done anything with BIOS and we have not installed any software we just need to go to disk management and um, from there we need to allocate the volume and that's it you just give a new name and it will just show up so hopefully um, we have learned something new today and please like and subscribe to tech and travel soul in order to get more uh, exciting tech related and travel related videos stay tuned and bye for now